Hello, and welcome to episode 2 of Indie Review. This week we're looking at The Impossible Game. This is a game about timing and quick thinking. You play as a square, or a block-like character, and your only goal is to avoid the traps by jumping over them. It's a one-button game. A to jump, and that's it. It makes it a very simple concept, but it's done very well. As you go along, you start to notice that it gets harder, as any game should. The spikes start increasing in number, the obstacles become more creative, and you start losing your concentration. Don't look at this game and think little of it, because it is in fact very well made, and a very fun game that will keep you playing it until you beat it. It'll take a while to do so, but you may find yourself getting frustrated, especially at the three spike obstacle, those will turn into your worst nightmare. But while the game doesn't feature Xbox 360 achievements, it does offer its own reward system similar to achievements. One is for beating the game, one is for a total of 100 attempts, and the last is for jumping 999 times in the game. Overall, while the gameplay is simple as well as the concept, it's an addictively fun game and the trial doesn't do it justice. This one I do highly recommend for download, especially at its $1 price tag. It's a fun game that will keep you playing until you finally show that it's not quite so impossible. Thanks for watching this episode of Indie Review. Hope to see you next time.